hello, my name is Matthew Kravik, sophomore mechanical. And I'm Anthony Desenzo, computer science sophomore, and today we're here to bring United Radar. So about a year ago, we were talking and we realized we were having the same issue. Whether it's going to the gym or going to Crown, uh, there's occasionally a huge crowd. And we wanted to know how to predict when that crowd's going to be there and how to avoid it. Uh, and we spoke to a bunch of other people on campus and found everyone's having this issue. So uh, we developed a method to tell how many people are in a room over time and in real time, and then realized the, the value there isn't in that application, it's in the collection of the data itself. And uh, it looks similar to this. You might have seen it if you use Google Maps. Um, it's Google's popular times. Uh, but this is different from what we're doing because it uses GPS data for the entire building, while what we do is on a room-by-room -room basis and uh, doesn't provide real-time data. And this is where Niner Radar comes in. Niner Radar provides real-time foot traffic by detecting smartphones. And how it works is we'll get a board that supports the 802.11 protocol, and then we'll use Nextman drivers, which re redirects the uh, probe requests that we're capturing on a 5 gigahertz channel from the Ethernet layer to, to the link layer. And then, then we can create multiple different data sets within our system, and then those data sets will be available on our website. Uh, so what's the need for this, and if there is one, why isn't there a solution yet? So uh, 265 million smartphone users in the U.S. That has grown fairly recently, at least the amount of smartphones that can connect to the Internet. So it's only recently that this data has been there to be collected. And this can be used for administrative planning, um, allocating human resources effectively, sort of uh, planning employee hours to save money, and also cutting down on general congestion around campus. And this is what we've done so far. We originally got the idea in November 2018, and then by 29, January 2019, we got the website completed. In Mar March 2019, we got a functional prototype working. And now in the present, we're currently implementing this, the functional prototype with the website. Now in the future, we want to implement our services um, in universities. And we've checked the, all of the legality concerns, and we don't violate anything, uh, any of uh, UNC Charlotte's policies. So once the initial hardware is set up, um, there are a number of software applications that can be implemented pretty easily, uh, but we only have three minutes up here, so uh, come check out our, our table. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.